So after finishing up the new series of Taskmaster and waiting for another series of Australian Lego Masters to come out, my wife and I last month also finished up some other shows that we've been watching that were new. And one of the ones we just finished up was uh, an anime called Bochi the Rock, which has been getting a lot of attention lately. And rightly so. It's a good show. And uh, we really enjoyed it. And it tackles some things that I thought were uh, pretty interesting as a musician and as somebody who kind of deals with the things I deal with. And I just felt compelled to sort of uh, do a post-mortem on it, sort of talk about it and just... I don't even know what this video is supposed to be. It's just supposed to be my thoughts on it. And uh, I don't really like it when YouTubers put their personal problems so far out there because I feel like that's taking something very personal that I would never do. Things that are very personal that I would never put out there and putting it out there for content like it's anything else and people liking it, praising it, and giving them accolades for basically and confusing narcissism with bravery is how it feels to me. And so what made this show stand out to me as something that I wanted to talk about is because the main character, Hitori, Bochi is not her real name, that's a term of endearment that comes from her friends. Uh, she carries a lot of the same similarities as me and what I've gone through in my musical journey. And it was suggested by my wife who saw the plot and said, hey, this is basically you. And she talked about that and reviewed it that way. She runs a website with some friends and writes reviews of these shows, so check them out too. She basically said, hey, this character is you. The show is about a freshman high school girl, aren't they all, who feels socially awkward and Afton is just aggressively introverted, which is another way that I would describe myself. Maybe not as anxious and explosive as she is, I've had my moments, but you know, she is just a complete disaster who can't make friends and begins finding her voice through the guitar, through hiding away in her room for almost all of her school years to perfect and become an amazing guitarist and begins to discover that she wants to branch out, she wants to make friends. And I found the show really sort of examined the paradox that most shows don't really go into when it comes to introverts. Introverts are usually the butt of the joke. They're usually the people who are seen as the problem that need to come out of their shells. And this is a show that refreshingly treats it the way uh, Hundred Acre Woods treats Eeyore. I know that's an odd analogy, but some might know what that means. I mean, Eeyore is actually a really positive example of introversion, depression, because everybody just treats him exactly as he is. Everybody treats him as just another member out there, and this is what he's feeling. They love him and accept him and just invite him along to everything, and it's how introverts usually work in the real world. I can't say watching this show that I felt a catharsis of my introversion, because I've never felt like my introversion was a problem, but I will say that it was refreshing to see things that I thought only happened in my mind put out there on the screen, and it led to, like I mentioned, one of the paradoxes of being a creative person, but also being really hyper introverted. Something that I call the paradox of the introverted musician in this case, since I am a musician. It can work for a writer, it can work for a painter, anybody who puts parts of themselves out there. Because the paradox that exists that this show really goes into is the idea that it's not so much that we want to be famous, that we want to be loved as some might go into the arts for anything like that, or even for anything putting yourself out there. We crave acknowledgement for our achievements and our skills, but we ultimately don't know how to process praise for that. So it doesn't necessarily mean we want to be loved, it just means we want to be acknowledged. Early on, Bochi doesn't even try to use her music, she just takes her guitar to school and thinks that by having the guitar, that's going to get her attention, that's going to instantly get her friends because people will think how interesting I am and I've done things like that early on in my high school years when I was really starting to discover that guitar was the thing that I really excelled at I found myself taking every possible opportunity to pick up a guitar you're at a friend's house he has a guitar let me show you what I can do really became the thing that I defined myself by and thought that it was going to get me my friends She's horribly disappointed, of course, when absolutely nobody talks to her because that is not how it works. That is not how friends usually work. It's refreshing to watch a show where people just 
treat her as the introvert she is. She freaks out. She hides in her mango box. She performs their first gig in a mango box on the stage. And she hides in trash cans. And everybody says, where is she? Oh, she's there. Okay. And everybody, like, there's even a part that she goes into a state of complete freeze. And they just bring her along. They go to the beach and they just bring her along. And she wakes up and doesn't know how she got there. It's comedic, but it's kind of true. It happens to people. So... So once you get past the idea that it's going to define your person, that's when this show started getting pretty real for me. She has friends over and the friends, they're all talking and hanging out and she leaves the room for 15 seconds and when she returns to the room, the conversation moved on without her and has this horror moment where she has no idea now how to reinsert herself into the conversation. Completely true. Completely what happens. And... She's afraid to get out and perform. She runs into a drunk girl who turns out to be an amazing bassist and forces her to do an impromptu street show right there. And it just, you might be the most skilled person in the world and you want to be acknowledged for the fact that you're skilled, but you feel so guilty when people come up to you and acknowledge it and praise you for it and actually tell you the things you want to hear and as a musician you have to work through that now I'll be in a week or so going out and doing my first open mic now I never did open mics I grew up in uh, a church setting so I grew up playing a worship band so every Sunday I had an opportunity to perform in front of people who were very forgiving very accommodating and it really developed my confidence and I've been out of the music game for a while so I'll be heading into an area that I'll be uncomfortable with too and I really felt that feeling with her of you're going to be on stage it's a very different situation everything feels sloppy everything feels loose your fingers don't feel the same way the strings don't feel the same way i remember when i first uh was an orchestra back in middle school in the first one of the first concerts i had to play an orchestra playing violin and being on a stage in front of people in this big open room and having to be in like a weird suit and tie that like, you know, you're middle school, you're not used to wearing anything close to that. And I just remember the entire show, my body deciding to make me feel incredibly aware of the fact that I was wearing socks and shoes. I can't describe it any more than that. I just spent the entire concert fully aware that I had socks and shoes on and it was weird. And it's that sort of stuff that this show really explores. And if you're a musician who struggles with that, if you're an introvert, if you're at the intersection of all those things of animation lover, you want to watch a good show, and you're an introvert, aggressively introverted as I am, or you're just a musician who wants a show with some fun music. It's not as good as some of the other music shows we've watched. It's not uh, it's not K-On levels of insanity in terms of music that takes you completely out of the show of what a group of high school girls playing in a band would be capable of at that point, but it's still perfectly fun and it's a nice show that unfortunately doesn't have an ending it just sort of stops she buys a new guitar at the end and it just sort of stops so as long as you're ready for that recommend it to people and i don't really know what else i wanted out of this video except to maybe bring up my experiences and start people talking about it if you've had experiences with your introversion or have had difficulty getting out and performing you know, I'd love to hear about it. And please leave a comment or a like, or let me know what you think if you've seen the show. So thanks for listening. See you soon.